What is crack lighting guys? Welcome back to another episode of Martial Outdoors today. Woohoo! Let me tell you. Am I gonna get stuck right now? Oh my gosh. Almost got stuck back there. What put her put her in four-wheel drive? We are driving across the lake right now. It is freaking burbot season, boys. Walleyes are closed. The only thing left to do is chase panfish or greasy burbs, and man, I love me some big, fat, greasy burbs. So that's exactly what we're doing today. We're gonna pretty much just run and gun all day. Took the day off of work just to come out here and do this, and um, it's gonna be me and Brett. We're gonna have two underwater cameras going, searching for the spawn balls. I'll try and get some footage of that for you guys. And um, yeah. Wad up some jigs with a bunch of minnows and drop them down and give them a pound on the mud, you know, a little dangle dangle, and hopefully we can catch some big, greasy birds. I am so freaking jacked up. This is gonna be ridiculous. I'm just, oh man, I haven't caught a bird yet this year, and let me tell you, it's freaking go time. So, you guys, stay freaking tuned. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get some big fish topside today, you guys. Stay freaking tuned. All right, so I have been um, out drilling holes for a while now, like a while, while. Oh, nice! Just got my line all tangled in here. That's sick. Yeah, pretty much just um, running and gunning with the truck at the moment, and. Um, I'll go 20, 30 yards, drill a hole, go 20, 30 yards, drill a hole. Just kind of looking, looking, and um, yeah, I just got to this spot, and there's definitely some burbs here. So I figured, it's not a spawn ball, but I figured, hey, what the hell, let's, uh, let's give her a shot anyway. So we're going to load up a jig head with some minerals here. Just going to load her up. I know everybody's like uh, big baits, big glow baits, but we're uh, fishing these things during the day right now. So obviously glow baits don't matter. I'm going to try and sit here and um, find this on the camera if possible. Would be sick. Just kind of got to figure out my bearings here. Kind of lost at the moment make some slight adjustments maybe move around a little bit see if we can find these things because we are loaded down with a million perch right now like millions so drill a couple more holes see if we can find them here oh, yes dude that one swooped right in and just plucked it off the bottom right on camera First burb of the season. I am freaking pumped. I am pumped about it. Oh, yes, dude. Greasy. What, dude? What? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's freaking go. Oh, what a nice, ugly fish that is. They are so so beautiful yeah oh man do I love me some burbs gonna tuck him right back there is a bunch of them swimming around down there that's for sure dude that's the first one that I've seen come by my jig and absolutely sucked it right off the bottom I need to try to move this camera so I can uh get some underwater eats going here because it is sick when they do that dude you can see the backwards hook set man it's it's glorious let me tell you literally this is how I'm standing just hold my rod like this just watch him slurp it and uh, backwards hook sets man we got two just coming in Oh, he's gonna eat it. Oh, 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 backwards hooks it. 
Oh my gosh, that is so freaking sick, dude. The one behind it is so much bigger, but I'm not complaining. Gosh, this is freaking awesome. This is the best time of the year. How big is this thing? Dang, the one behind them was big. That one behind them must have been a freaking giant. This thing is big. Dang. Dude, that one behind him made this one look small. Holy man, that was a teener back there. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking sick, dude. Oh, there we go. Another big old greasy burb. Doesn't get much better than that. I mean, come on with it. We're gonna set some cameras up and actually uh, get some good footage for you guys instead of messing around like this. But let's get a Snapchat going. Grease. set up a little bit better here I'd like to um, figure this whole mess out get a jacket set over this with a camera on it so you guys can see what's going on down there because it is freaking epic <laughs> oh my gosh oh there's one playing with the camera can you see that oh there's a bunch of them just playing with the camera <sighs> I just don't even know what to say anymore about these damn burbot, man. I have seen over 100 fish for sure today and got four to bite. Not looking good. We are um, gonna end this here. I don't think I'm gonna make this into a video just yet. I think we might run out here right away in the morning, if not the next day morning, because it seemed like right when we showed up this morning, they were definitely willing to eat a little bit better. I've seen plenty of fish after and not one taker. So we're going to end it here. With that being said, I will be back, catch a few more burbs, and um, and hopefully get a burbot video put together for you guys. As of now, they have done pissed me off today. My hands are cold. It's getting dark. Wrap her up. We'll catch you. Get my arm. We are back. It is now two days later. Yeah, two days later since I was out here filming all the underwater stuff. And um, we are back in the same spot. Been here for probably a half hour, 45 minutes already. And um, lost one and have seen a hundred. I figured I'd set the camera up. Maybe we'll try and get some underwater eats if they're gonna eat I don't think they are but we'll try but for now you guys are gonna be stuck on my phone too because uh, got out here went to the back seat to grab the camera bag with the GoPros and all that fun stuff don't have it so we're stuck with the phone only and uh, hopefully we can show you a couple more of these beauty grease pigs there's definitely a lot of them around. Oh, here comes one right here. Oh, wow, just rubbing it. Is this one gonna eat? Oh, he's circling right up there. Oh, here he comes, he's coming back. Lost a minnow. Lost two minnows? I only got one minnow? How the hell did that happen? We 
time together. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, what a grease stick, dude. <laughs> what a greasy, spotted up leopard. Sick, dude. Well, I'd say that's probably about, um, I don't know, fish uh, 100, 150 that I've seen. This one has got some freaking sick colors, dude. He's all spotted up like a cow. Ah, there you have it. We've got a bird. <laughs> I'm gonna tuck this one right back. Tuck this big old grease pig right back. Oh, 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 oh. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, my hands are numb. Oh, my hands are cold. So, actually, what I'm doing at the moment, I have my camera set up pretty close to the hole I'm fishing out of, just because I was trying to get some underwater eats. Obviously, that ain't freaking happening. They actually seem to be kind of worried about the camera lately. Like, they'll come look at it. They're really curious. They like to play with it and all that. But it's like if the camera is too close to them, then they I feel like they don't want to eat. So I'm actually jigging in a hole that's like 10 feet away from me. Just got her dangling way over there. And um, that one ate. Came in three, a good three pack. First one to sniff it. They're just constant though. Here comes another one. Right over it like it wasn't in there. Starting to notice too, watching these things on the camera constantly. Watching hundreds of fish at a time. Or a day or whatever. The ones that are just swimming with all their fins tucked in. And just in a beeline. They are going to swim over your jig every single time not even slow down and sniff it at all the ones that are just kind of creeping on the bottom with all their fins sticking out seems to be the ones that are uh, rooting around in the bottom trying to find something to eat still so we're gonna keep at it for a little bit i was just about to leave actually That one crushed it. That was sick. Dude, got the cameras on. Or I got the lights on, the underwater camera. Dude, they are pumping. Oh. oh my gosh, get those fingers. Get my broke as in. Ah. Get this jig out that's just inhaled. There you have it. Let me get some lights. There you have it. Another grease pig. Looking good. It is getting dark out here, but let me tell you, I turned the lights on the freaking camera. They're fired up all of a sudden. I was already down to leave, but um, we're going to drop back down real quick. If you see that, that was not graceful. Oh my gosh, you're just swimming by like crazy right now. Unfortunately, I think we're going to end it here. Not the burbot fishing I was looking for or I'm hoping for. That's for sure. These fish have either got a lot smarter than I thought a fish ever could. Or they just don't bite anymore. Like I keep thinking that it's because a lot of people are doing it now. I don't know. I'm finding fish on spots that people haven't even ever fished before. And they are doing the exact same thing. So... I hear other lakes are starting to do that too. I don't know if the burbs just, just don't bite anymore or what. But um, yeah, pretty crappy video. That's for sure. Not happy about it. Did not um, do any filming of the camera today, unfortunately. But same story, different day. 100 fish. I got two to bite. That is not good.
It's pretty annoying watching that many fish swim by and not getting anything to bite. Like I said, I have no idea what's going on anymore. But that's the story all over the lake. So, with that being said, man, I'm just ready for open water season. Put me in the boat. Let's go catch some catfish or some walleyes somewhere on the river. Because I have seen enough ice fishing this year, I can tell you that. But, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Marshall Outdoors, as always. I don't know where I'll be next. Obviously, probably on the ice, catching something, doing something dumb. You guys, stay freaking tuned. <laughs>